everyone, welcome to another edition of Craps Down Under. So I'm going to do another parachute style play. Uh, this time it's going to be light side. And I'm going to actually uh, explain it. So we're going to start, actually leave the bank roll there. Let's start with a $30 on the 8. Now if that loses, um, we'll go up to a $40, 30 40 $40 on the 9, and we'll make that a buy, uh, which will pay 60. Uh, so obviously we get paid 60. 60 is gonna cover that and net us $30 profit. So it's a kind of a progression, but it's also kind of a mild progression. Uh, if this one fails, then we've lost 30, then we've lost 40. And we're going to go up to 50 on the 10. Again, a buy. And the 50 will obviously win 100. And maybe I'll pay it out like this. Uh, there's 100. All right, so clearly we cover our losses. 30 plus 40, we've covered that. Right, like for like, and we net ourselves $30 profit. So that's the sequence, 8, 9, 10, or 6, 5, 4. That's the sequence we're going to play. I'm going to play a parachute, and what we're also going to do, I'm going to play two parachutes at the same time, but I will stagger them slightly, and why are they called a parachute? So let, let me explain that. Obviously, for the eight to win, there's five combinations it can win on. For the nine to win, there's four combinations. And for the uh, 10 to win, there's three combinations. So kind of resembles a parachute. It's a soft landing. Hopefully, we'll, we'll snag a win by the time we get to the end of it. Now, uh, what this is doing is it's only going up very mild as a progression. If you were playing, uh, say, an even chance bet, you'd have to keep doubling your bet to keep to uh, actually net a profit. Where what this trades is the number of numbers that you're covering, so you don't have to increase your bet as much. So what we're going to do, we're going to play an eight. Uh, if we don't get that one, we'll move into the nine, and then we'll deploy another parachute. And this one will then go to the go this way. Now I'm just going to run probably just with two parachutes at, the, at a time. Uh, you could do literally one every time you lose. Uh, you could start a new parachute or every time you win, you could start another parachute. So I'll only have two active, but it really comes down to how much risk you want to have against the seven. So I think it's a pretty neat play because of you can control how much risk you want to have. How many units do you actually want to have exposed to the seven at any one time? I think it's important. I'm going to start with just one unit and then get two units max. So I think that's actually another part of it that's that's kind of good. So let's get started. Um, I will need to get some reds. So I've got a thousand dollar bankroll here. So I will grab myself some reds. There's a hundred dollars. Give that back to the dealer. So we're all set to go. $30, oops, do it that way. $30 on the eight. And let's get started. All right, so we've got a nine, nine's the point. We're just hoping to snag a win on our eight. Now we've got a six. Now you can, as I said, you can play two, you can play them staggered, you can play them together. Um, I personally don't like to play them together because I don't want to have two units in lockstep. Um, uh, there's a six again. Uh, there's a nine. She just made their point. Uh, there's a ten. Uh, there's the eight. So we win our eight. We win 35. So the first one, you win a little bit more, which is kind of nice. So we'll lock up the win, and we'll start over. I'll just start this one again, just keep him there. 
Uh, there's midnight. Uh, there's a nine. Uh, there's a nine again, back to back. Nine's been hitting quite a lot. Oh, there's the eight. We've hit the eight again. 30 comes down. We get paid 35. Lock that up. Go back on. Uh, three. Five. And so, you know, managing your exposure to the seven, it's one of those things. You're not going to have as much action. You're going to be going, oh, I could have got here, could have got here, could have got all over there. Um, yeah, could have. Uh, but... Obviously when the seven comes, you've got a lot more exposed. There's some fives. Nice, nice roll though. Three. Now we could maybe change to the six if we wanted to change. It's really up to you. Here's that ten. Shooters made their second point, I think. Uh, nine. Now we were off on that uh, that roll there. I didn't say we were on, so just need to remember that to either call my bets on or off, and it's really a personal choice, up to you. Do whatever you feel is right to you. Oh, there's the eight. We missed the eight. Because we swapped to the six. There's the ten. Oh, there's the six. Again, got another hit. So, so far you're not seeing much of a parachute. Because... <laughs> uh, uh, Everyone's doing okay. Four. And nine. That's the shooter's third point. Nice wrong roll. We are off, of course. On that come out, there's the four. I'll hit the six again. It's again, 35. So you could say, well, maybe I'll wait for the net for the seven to come. Shooters hit the another point. Hot shooter. Hit that six again, but we're not we're off on the come out, remember? So we don't get paid on that. Five. And there's our seven. So we lose. Right, I'll keep that one there so you know what's going on. So Given we started on the six, I'll move to the five, and we're gonna go from 30 up to 40 on the five. All right, now, this is a come out roll, so we are off. Um, and given that we've moved and progressed, I will also start a new parachute on the eight. So this one will go this way. So you can think of parachutes coming down, going this way and so hopefully we snarf a win somewhere along here so these are both off on the come out nine nine's the point and this is where you're controlling your exposure to just two bets against the seven so we've got our five so that's great so the 40 uh, now remember i did say these are buys just to be clear they are buys and i'm that's my bad, I forgot to put the, uh, the laminar on there. But the 40 does win $60. And what I can do, I'll bring back our loss. This would come down, gets paid uh, $60. We do owe VIG, we've got 40 there, we owe $2 VIG. So I'll take that back and I'll hand back three change for the VIG. So that parachute finished and uh, he made profit. So uh, where are we? Where are we? Uh, this one, we won't start a new parachute until this one, uh, this one moves off. Or maybe we could. We could, well, we could still start another one. There's nothing to really stop us. I like to stagger them a little bit, but it's really up to you. Uh, there's a nine, should have made their point. So now we're off on the five. And there's our seven. Wah, wah. Don't like that one. So we cleaned up two bets there. So 
what happens. 30, 40, 30, 40. Now remember these are buys. All right, um, I will leave them off at the moment because we're off on the come out. So I'll just say we're off on the come out. And we missed, missed that one. Still nothing. Uh, nine, nine's the point. So now we're working. Ah, and good old seven cleaned us out again. So this is why I don't like having two kind of in lockstep like that. But doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll see how it works. Here's a buy. Buy, now they are off, remember. It's a come out roll, so probably should just take those off. They're not on, they're not working. There's a seven. Geez, we're getting a lot of sevens. There's an eight. Guess it makes up for that long roll. So now, now we're working. Yo. Aces. Ah, four. So we got this one. This one hit. So he's going to win, win 100. And we're going to owe two. Two vig. All right, so that one all comes back. All comes back home. And uh, we can start another parachute. Up, uh, sorry, up here. And this one's just a regular place. This one's still on. And again, you could wait till this one resolves if you want. Uh, it's really up to you. You don't have to play both at the same time. Just control how many units you want on the felt at any one time. Really your choice. So we'll see if he comes home. Well, we got him. The thing is, this is a, uh, it's about almost 80% chance that you're gonna get a hit. Eight, nine, ten you're, uh, versus the seven. So remember, it's three seven outs to get you to here. So you've got about an eighty percent chance of getting to getting your hit. Uh, and so far, we haven't actually seen one fail yet, uh, which is kind of what you'd expect. You're not going to expect it to fail that often, given you got a. It will fail, of course, given you've got a. So I think it's 78, 79, somewhere around that sort of percentage range. All right, so we owe two dollar big. I'll pass the deal of five. I'll get back three. And so uh, we cleared our dead out. And uh, there we go. So we've still got one bet on the felt. I'm inclined to just bet the one. Just play this one guy here, this one parachute. We could play two. But. Um, I think I might just play, just play the one. In fact, if we look where we're at, we're actually not doing too bad. We're up at almost, I think, 200 bucks. So it's not a bad return so far. We're coming with a thousand, we're up 20%. Let's see where we're at. Uh, that gets us, uh, all right. Gets us enough there for that. Okay, so that's a hundred. Take that back. So it's two hundred in profit. Uh, 220, 224 in profit. So that's more. That's more than our twenty percent. We're kind of done at this point. We don't need to play it any longer. Um, and I'm kind of. I like to stick to my guns on, on these sorts of things. But you've seen how the parachute works. It doesn't escalate your bets very high. And it trades number of numbers you're betting on to keep the bets relatively flat. And that's kind of the secret behind this, this kind of progression. Um, we can continue this one on. I'll continue it on. Not that I'm expecting to win. But I'll continue it on to show what happens when you don't leave. <laughs> And there you go. See, so kind of down a little bit on my profit 
because I didn't leave when I knew I should have. Anyway, let's, let's go again. Start the parachute on this side this time. We are off. Oh, oh sorry, not there. I've got to start it over here. So I'll wait till we set the point. Apologies for that. Still haven't set a point. Oh, we're on the 10. All right, so now we can put our bed up. So now we're chasing this one. Uh, so we need uh, 30, 40 to buy, $40, gonna win uh, 50. So I'm gonna win 60. Um, I might have to get some reds. Maybe I'll get five, take one of those greens back. So you should have left when I had the chance. But there we are, I'm gonna start a new parachute here going this way. So got two units exposed. Just hoping we can get one of these to hit. Nine. And unfortunately, digging a hole again, see? So that's what happens when you don't walk with the profit. So both come down. Again, this one goes up. This one goes up here to 50. Now they're not working yet. One, two, three. That's uh, $40 there, they're off. We're not working yet. <coughs> I'll keep this uh, loss here so you can kind of see what, what we're up for loss wise. We'll wait till we set a point. Six. All right, so six is the point. So now they're working and they are both buys. Uh, four. So we've got our four. Okay, wins the hundred. So I will have to. Uh, Take that back because we clear out our debt. Uh, that gets us the hundred, and we owe two dollar vig. So reasonably happy with that. Cleared our, cleared that progression there. Uh, what happened there? All right. Um, that one's there. So do we want to run another parachute, or we just want to let this one resolve? Stick another one now. Five. Aces. Uh, six. So we got that one. That's a nice win because uh, we can take that. I'm just going to lock that up. I'm just going to try and play for this one now. I'm not going to put any more out. I'm gonna Call it a session. <clears throat> we got our nine. All right, so 40 to buy wins 60. It's all over. Pay our $2 VIG for the 40. All right. All right, let's see where we got to. They got 15, 15 left there. That colours up nicely there to a green. All right, now let's see where we got to. As you can see, the progression's pretty nice. That's uh, not, not uh, getting us escalating too high. And uh, we've racked up a little bit more than 20%. We've gone to uh, basically 30, <laughs> 33%, basically. Uh, sorry, 30% plus a little bit. So, so $300 win. Plus a bit more. Tip your dealers, do whatever you do with that. Buy a beer. Um, but that's us kind of done, showing the progression. And if you get to the end, well, you just start over. There's no need to double it up. If you want to, you could certainly you know, go instead of playing $30 units, start at 60. Uh, instead of playing 40, then go to 80. Instead of playing 50, go to 100. So it'd be, you know, instead of 30, 40, 50. Very easy to remember, 30, 40, 50. Uh, if you want to double it, that's, that's a 60, 80, 100. And you could chase it probably one time. I'd probably give it up after there maybe. But you got a 61% chance of, um, even if you chase, uh, you can still, if you chase, if you doubled your bet and then chased uh, by, you know, chasing your previous series loss, you still got a 61% chance of getting a couple of hits, which is going to give you um, 
it's going to give you at least 60 bucks each hit, 120. Uh, given you've only lost 120, uh, you're going to make up your, your loss um, in two hits. And uh, there's a 60, 61% chance of making those two hits. So it's still above 50% that you're going to you know, make it chasing your losses. So it's not a bad little play. And given that we came up with 1,000, we'll leave them with 300. And there was really no sweat at all involved in it. Um, just kind of, you've seen it work. So this was uh, playing a parachute, light side only. And uh, yeah, I think it's not a bad little play. So look forward to your comments and feedback on that one. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.